Hello everyone. This time I made a simple guide because there was a request to summarize my settings and environment. Please note that all texts are translated and that minor errors are made. Here are my PC specs and DPI settings. Please make settings based on your specifications based on this. With this spec, you can play comfortably in the medium setting. But if you want more performance, please refer to my settings. In-game settings. Please refer to it. Pause is recommended. Later, we will have a time to explain detailed graphic settings. See you later. This is a list and settings of mods used. The UI tweak setting is very complex and long. So it is recommended only for those who want to set it to the same UI as me. I met you again. From here we will send you detailed graphic explanations along with videos. This video is my graphics settings applied. First about graphics settings. I only change the texture, sharpness, filter and SSAO. This game has a high CPU load compared to other games. A setting that places the least burden on the CPU will improve performance. There is no problem with setting the texture to a high setting. Even at low settings, the performance is almost unchanged in my environment. Set SSAO to a high setting. Enhance the appearance of walls and ground. Turn on the sharpness filter. This has the effect of tightening the overall appearance, depending on preference. 
All other settings can be off or low. This setting increases the performance as much as possible while maintaining the minimum appearance. In my environment, the average frame rate is about 120 FPS. Comparison with the lowest setting. This is a video with the lowest setting. If you want more frame rate, if you want visibility, if you want competitiveness, the lowest setting is the best. Because everything is simplified, it is very visible and you can expect a high frame rate. However, this game has nice and beautiful graphics. I want performance. But I don't like cheap graphics. So changing the texture alone is a good choice. Other commentary. Explanation of frequently asked questions. There are a few other things I want to explain. First, about setting FOV equals field of view. I use the number 95. I like the balance of the field of view and the sense of distance. Generally, 90 is the best FPS game. Over 100 is not recommended in this game. However, since it is a matter of taste and familiarity, choose the FOV that suits you. Next is the cap frame rate. In my environment, the stability increased when the frame rate was limited rather than unlimited. I use a 240Hz monitor, but I can only select up to 165. Personally, 120fps cap is recommended. Next is the screen mode. I use borderless full screen. In my environment, the full screen is a little bit, but the load is small. The frame rate is also somewhat stable. I like this too. I recommend borderless users who frequently open the background like me. Finally, here is a benchmark video of my graphics settings. This time it was a simple explanation and guide, but I would be happy if it could be a little helpful. Thank you for your viewing. And daily viewing and comments. Thank you very much. Watch out for your mates and we'll get through this. Clean folks, incoming!